How's it going guys? This week I'm continuing the Halloween project with this jack-o-lantern. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch jack-o-lantern. Now I know that may not sound pretty exciting, but what if I told you it's filled with over 300 pieces of candy inside? That's what I thought. Pretty cool, huh? So if you guys want to see how this is made, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. So for this project, I'm gonna be using some three quarter inch thick plywood. That's two feet by four feet long. Then I have a few inches of one by two material here. This is just gonna be the stem for the pumpkin. Then over here, I have some orange paint as well as some green paint. And then I have a PDF template that you can download in the description. It's a jack-o-lantern face that measures 12 inches by 12 inches. And then I just have the face here that's gonna be my template to cut out. And then behind the face, I'm gonna need some either black or yellow felt. I haven't picked that up quite yet, but I will have it by the end of the project. So that's all the materials you're gonna need. Let's go ahead and head over to the table saw where we can start cutting up this sheet of plywood. So the pumpkin calls for three pieces to be cut at 12 inches by 12 inches. Then I need two pieces cut at 12 inches by 10 and a half inches. Then I need one piece cut at 10 and a half by 10 and a half inches. So let's go ahead and take this, run it through the table saw until I get all my pieces. So now that I have all my pieces of plywood cut, what I need to do is go ahead and just take my template, apply it to only one 12 inch by 12 inch board, and then cut out the face. This is gonna be the front of the jack-o-lantern. So let's go ahead, head over to my jigsaw and cut this out. So now I can go ahead and use some wood glue and some brad nails to assemble the pumpkin box.
painted. What I did now was I went ahead and cut out some black pieces of foam. Now I originally was gonna use felt, but I couldn't find pieces big enough in my local store. So what I did was just cut out some foam and basically I just slide them in. And this is just gonna give the inside of the box a little bit nicer look to it. But after you slide all the pieces in, you'll have a pretty sweet looking pumpkin. So all my pieces are in now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, go back and hot glue these on, and then I already attached my stem, so from here it will be all done. So I have all the black foam in there, now I can go ahead and add the candy. So once you load this pumpkin up with all the candy, you can get about 300 plus pieces in here. So this thing definitely can hold a lot of candy. Um, all in all, I really like the way this project came out. I know it's simple, but I thought it'd just be a cool, fun Halloween project that people without a lot of tools can make as well. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I try posting new woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. And uh, don't forget, if you want to make this project, I do have a free template on the face in the description below for free download. So that's it for this week's project. I'll see you guys next week.